Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We are gonna jump on into an ultimate Sephora hit list. I have 30 brands, 30 products. These are the number one items, in my opinion, from each brand that I would recommend to you. So whether you are a beginner in makeup or you've been with me for a long time, we're gonna have a good overview of what each like rave product is and why. I have tried so much makeup that I can literally go and scan an entire gondola and be like, tried it, tried it, tried it, tried it, tried it, tried it, love it, like it, love it, like it. And then there's this like alarm bell within me that's like, this is the item that changes the way my makeup looks that I cannot live without. I know we throw around the word obsession quite a bit as beauty influencers here in the space, but these are truly the hall of fame ride or die obsessions from each and every brand. Cheers. I'm in such a like, let's dish about makeup mood right now. The hair is up. I feel a little more like, I don't know, it's turtleneck season all of a sudden. The weather shifted, my mood shifted. I wanna go over really quickly. I'm wearing a new earring. I don't know the brand of this one. I picked this up at Nordstrom and I feel like a lot of you guys are gonna be asking me, it's just one earring that cuffs and goes through the ear. I'll have everything listed in the description box below. I'm getting really good at doing that. All the jewelry that I'm wearing, the nail polish that I'm wearing is from Loud Lacquer. Love this so much. Sasha 2.0, one coat, self-leveling, such a good formula. And then I am wearing Lily Silk as my sophisticated woman turtleneck today. So we're gonna start with Lancome. This is a new primer that I have been really loving, like shocked me that I like this as much as I do. I got this in PR, I used it right away. It's like Tatcha, but a little more firm and just smooths out the skin, melts the skin, just like melts the skin, that wasn't good, melts into the skin and has the most beautiful, creamy texture that gives you such a nice base for your makeup. And I love the compact. I have been using this nonstop. It is my new favorite thing from Lancome. This is the Priming Serum 24 Hour Hydrating Solid Soothing Primer. I wanted to shout that out because it's newer and I have been reaching for it a ton, but I also just have to give some love to the Juicy Tubes. Who remembers these back in high school if you're in my age category? Uh, this was like a thing. This was like a hardcore thing. Like you wanted to be like that girl. You had this floating around in your purse somewhere. Someone's mom got it as a gift with purchase or in like a holiday set. And we loved these and they are still so good. They smell delicious. This one has like a cute little shimmer in here. I feel like maybe I should just pop just like just a little bit. I'm wearing like five things on my mouth right now, so yay for that. Just one of those juicy, shine reflective, yummy, gorgeous glosses has always been a smash hit number one in my opinion from Lancome. Let's all have a moment together and think about Tarte Cosmetics and I just want you to picture in your mind what my favorite product from Tarte is and if you have been with me for any length of time, you are imagining this one right here, the smoothing primer, as much as I stray and try other things, because I'm always down to try new makeup and experiment, I always come back to this, just always. It's the best pore filling primer out there. I've tried them all, there isn't one that is better. This is it. If you need mattifying primer, Milk Makeup just has me with this packaging and the whole line I think is really genius. I just picked up their new powder that is talc free and mattifying. I don't know that I will need this as much moving into colder weather, but if you are an oily, an oily person, you have more oils that you need to combat, then this is definitely such a great primer. It does not, I was gonna say crusty. Have I ever used Ugh. Have I ever even used that word on my channel? No, let's rewind. I can't even remember what I was saying because I got so grossed out by that word. <laughs> if you have dry skin, you don't need this. If you have combo skin that gets oily throughout the day, then you can use this on your T-zone and it does not overly dry out or exaggerate lines or make things look crunchy. This is a great mattifying primer and I'm excited to try the powder. I went over to Beauty Blender and I was like, what would be my favorite? If I could only pick one thing for the rest of forever from Beauty Blender, what would it be? Ding, 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 the iconic sponge. 
I don't know why this works better than every other sponge out there. Again, it's one of those things where I am not exaggerating. I have likely tried over a hundred different knockoffs of the Beauty Blender and there's nothing like the original, nothing. I had some shocking moments while doing this in Sephora. Literally my game plan was to go in and like study each gondola and really have like a deep moment and think if I could only forever and like I had that voice there in my mind like only one forever what would it be and there were brands where I'm not gonna lie I was like hmm, nothing and like would walk off like that happened where I'm like oh gosh I always thought I kind of liked this brand I don't think I do like I'm gonna go ahead and say uh, do I want to say I went over to Gucci and Armani and I kind of had this like apathy of like meh I can do without it and it's not that they're bad brands. I just have not tried really much of anything from either of them in so long that my brain was just like, we're like flatlining and like I have no like no reaction. I'm not getting any butterflies. I'm just kind of standing there like this going, meh, and like keep it moving. I was standing in front of the YSL gondola and I kind of had the same thing and I'm like, shoot. What do I even have in my collection that's YSL? Am I even like pulled into this brand anymore? Because I used to really love the tattooage lips. Those are great. If you want like a phenomenal red, still has my heart. And then I was kind of like staring at the rest of it and I'm like, I guess I'm just like not really into this either. I don't know, just kind of meh. But I came home and I went through every single drawer and I was like, do I own anything YSL? And I'm like, the only thing I have that I love, like the number one, the only product in my whole collection that is YSL, is the All Hours Foundation. This is what I'm wearing today. Whenever I wear this, I feel like it kind of gives me this corset effect to the skin. It kind of lifts the skin. It does that and it's weird, but you feel it. So I just always feel a little more cinched when I'm wearing this formula. It does last a really long time and it is a super beautiful one. Natasha Denona, this concealer has me ignoring every other formula in my collection. I don't know what the deal is. It works for me and I'm not moving away from that. I really wanted to be like, oh, my favorite Natasha Denona palette. Like this is the must have because her formula is so good, bah, 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 bah. But if I could only pick one item, it would be the High Glam Concealer from NARS. I don't talk about this a lot, but I use it a lot. So I should talk about it. This is their color corrector and this formula is phenomenal. It is a light reflecting eye brightener. This is the shade Golden Eye and I put this under concealer sometimes or just like the tiniest little boop right in the inner corners when I'm not wearing any makeup, but I'm feeling like, gosh darn, my under eyes are really not looking great. I wanna look a little more awake, but I just don't have time for makeup. I'll use it for that as well. And I don't even have to powder on top of it. It just kind of reflects the light and gives you a nice concealed effect, but it's not looking too makeup-y. I really love this formula. Very similar to their other concealer formula that they have, a little bit thinner, more light reflective, but this is a winner, love it. From Laura Mercier, could I pick anything other than their translucent setting powder? It is one of the best. I've used this for years. You go into Sephora and you even just see this banner that's like the number one selling powder in the universe. Like it's really that good. It's solid. I like a little more coverage from my powders right now, especially if I'm baking. So from Huda Beauty, Easy Bake Loose Baking and Setting Powder. I have Cherry Blossom, which is new to me. I'm loving. And the shade Cupcake. Givenchy. We have the Prisme Libre. I have Rose and Satin. I love both of these. I love the Rose a little bit more. This is again, just if you know, you know. It has a little bit of reflection and it brightens and it's expensive, but I love it. It's the number one from Givenchy and that's the product from Givenchy that everybody raves about. So it's not a surprise there. New from Bobbi Brown that I cannot put down. Like this is kind of like the Natasha Denona concealer. I just love this powder. The vitamin enriched pressed powder in yellow is so good to lightly put under the eye before you bake lightly, less is more is key. And then if you have pores that are visible on the face, just take a little powder brush, bam, 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 bam. And you're just so refreshed. From Tower 28, any of their creams, bronzers or blush, the formula's A+, I love it so much. I have the Bronzino in West Coast, Gold Coast, 
And then I have the Sculptino and Getty. These are favorites. So are the blushes, but we're just, we're just talking about one. So let me stop. Another great cream bronzer is from Say, and I've talked about this a bunch. I like it better than the Chanel bronzer. It has a little more pigmentation, a little more glide, and it just always makes me feel like my makeup looks amazing whenever I use this. So if I had one to pick from Say, this would be it, absolutely. From Hourglass, it would be any of the ambient powders, but I would recommend as Holiday is moving here, like it's moving into town. It's already over at Ulta. Um, any of these limited edition palettes that they typically come out with, they're worth it. They're like the everlasting gobstopper. Try to go through one it's nearly impossible and this ambient setting powder the finish of it is just like light as air it just diffuses those lines and gives you literally a candlelit glow it's so beautiful it's something that you just have to try and see in person um but this one right here dim light is my favorite color love it so much from house labs i haven't tried too much from the brand but i do super love the highlighters in peach quartz and sunstone i like it over the foundation i know some people might be like what these are good fenty beauty we have more highlighter this is the best cream highlighter that is super blingy there's just nothing else out there like it oh my gosh it makes the skin look wet it reflects on the skin i'm wearing it today just with this really pretty glimmer and there's nothing else like it. You have to be in the mood for like a full on highlight moment. I also have the shade Rose Rave. I don't like this one as much because like if I wanna go full tilt with the highlight, we're just gonna go for it, you know what I'm saying? Rare Beauty, I understand why the highlighters are always sold out. I've been using this not just on the cheeks and on the face, but on the body, on the eyes. It is so stunning. It is really bouncy and airy, but it has like a beautiful pigmentation, but it doesn't overload you so much that you look exaggerated as far as like texture and lines. Love that. Makeup by Mario. You guys probably know I love the blushes so much. Soft pop plumpy blush veil. I feel like I'm in some kind of tongue twister. Like <laughs> all these names are <laughs> okay. The soft pop plumping blush veil. Oh my gosh. I can imagine people in like a boardroom like having to say that over and over and over. I would stress out. Soft pop plumping blush veil. Like I have to think. I have to like think so hard. Whew, did we do it? We did it. Um, perfect pink, just peachy, and barely blushing. Just peachy is my favorite. Ooh, yes. Danessa Myricks. This might surprise you because I love all of her glimmery things and liquid shadows, her shadow palette, just everything duochromatic and just glossy, glossy, glossy. I love it. But her blush has such a unique formula. I'm wearing it today. Long lasting, pigmented, sinks in the skin, is kind of similar to the Mario one. But if I had to pick between the two, I actually, this is like the favorite favorite. There's something so special about it. This shade in particular, Golden Hour, is so phenomenal. I feel like this works with every skin type, which is really hard to do with a cream product. Like oily skin does not get too greasy. Drier skin can totally handle it as well. It's just a perfect product. I have another highlight. We're not gonna stay here long. From Westman Atelier, if I had to pick one, it would be their cream highlighter, super loaded tinted highlighter. I just love how this looks on the skin. It's like not overdone at all, not overly shimmery. It is just a sophisticated, creamy, blendable, seamless highlight. From Kosas, I love their lip oil. I know so many people love other, you know, like the Dior lip oil. There are just, you know, we had like a moment with lip oils, but these ones to me, oh my gosh, I really have to stop. I wanted to put it on. Do I want to put it on? This does not glop. So if you need a touch up, but you're worried about a, like a thicker gloss kind of separating and doing that weird funky thing that is just not attractive. This is such a beautiful product to use throughout the day because it keeps the lips hydrated and it doesn't get all separated and funky and weird. And these are just so good. Love it. From Charlotte Tilbury, anything lips from Charlotte Tilbury is my particular favorite. I know so many people are like, oh no, it is, you know, the, ah, uh, what is even the Hollywood flawless filter or the powders and, or, oh, I need the, the bronzer. Like people have very like 
zeroed in like this is my favorite. I have always felt like she does lips so well. The tone, consistency, the saturation of color, it's just like somehow these shades look good on so many different skin tones. The tone itself is just like, I always feel flattering, whether you're putting on something that is more berry or red or nude. And the formulation of it itself is just so nice. Her lipsticks smell amazing. They are not dry. They just look really nice. If you want something that feels expensive, looks expensive, is expensive. Like you want that difference where you're like, why did I just spend all that money? Like you will actually feel like, oh, this is really special. Like this was worth that splurge. So her lip products to me are top, top tier. I am also wearing this in my waterline and I forgot just how much I love this. Her chubby sticks that are specific to eye colors. Like this is a purple one for green eyes. Whenever I wear this, it's just like, bam, my eyes just really jump out. Okay, moving into Anastasia. I was gonna say Brow Wiz, but I just haven't used Brow Wiz in so long. I do love Anastasia glosses. Haven't been into the shadows in a hot minute. It was another brand where I'm like looking at everything and I'm like, I used to obsess. Like I used to literally collect the eyeshadow palettes or even their highlighters and setting sprays. And like, I was into it, you know what I'm saying? And now I'm kind of like, uh, I don't know. Like it's not even like bad or good. It's just like, uh, I don't know. It's kind of the feeling. But their glosses are again, next level. Just really like thin, but saturated and shiny. And the ones that have glitter in them are so insanely sparkly. They have a nice gel shine to them with that added benefit of that dimensional little glimmer. If you want your lips to look bigger without the lip, whoa, without the lip plumpy feel, I would definitely check out Anastasia Glimmery Lip Glosses. Give Beauty is a newer line at Sephora, but I recommend this product to everyone and I've been doing it for about a year now. And that is the Icy and Sparkle Multi-Dimensional Eye Pigment. This is the shade Twinkle. I love this so much. It's, I mean, it's a little messy. It's a loose pigment, but whenever I put this on, I'm just like my entire demeanor and the whole look, the whole feel of whatever I'm going for just like elevates. It's so good. It doesn't even matter. Like you can be in sweatpants and no makeup and just like a tiny bit of mascara and just like boom, 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 just like a little bit of glimmer and you all of a sudden are like, I am gorgeous. Like, ugh, look what that did. That's this kind of product. And it wears beautifully all day long. Um, Patrick Ta, we're gonna go there for the body. A lot of people would overlook this if they were like, I could only pick one item from Patrick Ta. His line is doing amazing right now. Like the products that are being launched are A+. This is new because the other one that I have is utterly destroyed. I'm so sick of showing it on camera and you guys are like seeing how I mash into it. I wanted to get a clear version of his body balm. This has the same scent. You do not need to wear perfume when you are wearing this. It's very, very fragranced. It smells delicious, but just go in knowing it is very fragranced. But the sheen that you get out of this, here, I'll do a little bit more. You feel like a rock star. You feel like your skin just left a five-star spa. You glow and it doesn't look too greasy. It's like this radiant from within glow and it just brings skin back to life. I swear by this product and nobody else is making anything quite like this. I kid you not, I have people stop me when I'm out and about and they're like, can you tell me like, what lotion are you wearing or why does your skin look that way? To get a skin compliment on your shoulders is like, let me tell you my secret, like this is it. All right, where are we at? Makeup forever. I am afraid to try the new formulation. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be very similar and still fantastic, but their matte velvet skin, if you use it for contour, bronzer, or even just match your skin and, and do it as your foundation, they have a great color range. This powder is phenomenal. It is like a hidden gem, secret sauce kind of a thing. There's something about it that just works. If I could only pick one item from Pat McGrath literally for the rest of my forever. It will always be her shadows. No one does this kind of crazy 
beautiful multi it's not even like multi duo I don't even know how to explain these shadows they're so freaking pretty I'm gonna put one on now I have a full matte look going let's just I'll show you I like barely even looked at what I was doing. Do you see? Oh my gosh. You do not need to be a makeup artist or a professional. I would recommend if you're using these to not do exactly what I just did, go ahead and use a base so you have a little more stick. But all you need is your finger and you pat this on and you are ready to go to any event. Like you're done. I mean, come on like the best. Who does eyeshadow, like sparkly eyeshadow better? I don't know. I'm gonna go ahead and set my face and just pray that that glitter stays where it needs to. Urban Decay All Nighter. Need I say more, the most iconic setting spray of all time and it works. A newer item that I am so hooked on and I'm always saying like, buy your mascara at the drugstore. Just buy your mascara at the drugstore. How cool is this thing? Buy your mascara at the drugstore. I found a high-end mascara that is worth the splurge. This will have you looking like you are wearing false lashes without wearing false lashes in 2.2. Whatever the formulation is here, whatever they did, bravo, well done. This is the One Size Fantasize Mascara, officially my favorite product from One Size Beauty. This is so good. The brush is perfect. It separates, but it adds so much volume and holds a curl really well. Bonus, looks great on the lower lash and does not get everywhere or smudge. And it's not terrible to take off either. So it's just such a winning product. Okay, from Lawless Beauty, if you have eyes that get a little more irritated, um, you're a little more sensitive to talc, the best talc-free shadows out there. These are so good. I did just get a talc-free palette from Coast. So Lawless might have some competition, but the one, these palettes right here, any of them, they're all good. They're so good. So if you have sensitive eyes and you're looking for a blendable, uh, long wearing, gorgeous talc free shadow, this is great. Ah, Dior. Oh my gosh. I almost forgot how much I love this. This Dior Show Brow Styler that is waterproof. I have the shade 2 Brown. I'm obsessed. I know everybody likes the blush and the lip oil and probably a million other things from Dior and I'm over here like, no. This is the brow pencil that dreams are made of. I don't know why it's so good. I've purchased this thing so many times. It's amazing. If you have thin brows and you need that really precise tip and you want something that's long wearing and it's just like the perfect consistency, Dior has it covered. Let's leave on a sad note. They discontinued this and I'm still bummed out about it because this used to be my favorite from Dior, but they don't make it anymore. The Air Flash. Oh my gosh. It's almost gone. And I'm like trying to preserve it because once it's over, it's over. All right, there we have it. That is my ultimate hit list, my number ones from each brand. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Make sure you are subscribed and ring the bell before you leave. Other than that, go and have the best day. I love you guys, and I will see you all in my next video. Mwah.